Good evening, everyone. I'm Barry Halterman. I'm the chaplain and religion department head here, and it is my uh, wonderful task to be able to welcome you to our Academic Awards Night 2022. It's been a while since we were actually able to be in this room having these together, so uh, this is quite nice. There's a lot of great kids at this school, um, so I just want to start off by thanking you parents for sending your children to this school. We think we have a lot to offer academically, but it really, the school is really only as good as the people in it. The teachers are, are good, but we also need good students, and uh, we have a lot of great students who did a lot of great work this year. It's been a difficult year, especially for our seniors for, you know, the last couple of years. It's been a rough educational year, but you powered through and you excelled, and that's what we get to, to really talk about tonight, is those students who um, really excelled academically. There's a lot of things that go on in this school. We're trying to build your whole spiritual um, being as well. We're trying to teach the whole person. We're tr literally all of you, your mind, body, your soul. And we want to go for all of that. But tonight we're really emphasizing those, those who excelled academically and hopefully spiritually. One of the things that the Academy of the New Church stands for really is bringing spiritual and natural knowledge together. That's why we're founded. We believe there's wonderful truths and values that can be taught and learned, and they need to be part of education. And really, that this whole world is a way of learning not only about our natural environment, but about our spiritual environment. Just a couple of uh, passages from the Bible and from um, New Church teachings on that. The Bible starts right off. Genesis 1.1, the very first verse says, In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. And I think that sets the tone for everything. The Lord is the creator. The heavens, our spirit, the spiritual values, the spiritual principles, everything that's in us, everything that's higher, above, and important. And he also creates the earth, everything that's down here, everything that's physical, natural, everything that we live and breathe and work in every single day. So the Lord is the creator of all of that. And at the end of the first chapter of Genesis, it closes with, just a, a wonderful line. And then God saw everything that he had made, and indeed it was very good. We live in a great world. We live in a world that can help you see your creator in it. New Church Theology teaches that the whole visible universe is nothing else than a theater that is representative of the Lord's kingdom, and this in turn is a theater representative of the Lord himself. As we learn, as we grow, as we take in all the different fields of study that we have here, we have a chance not only to learn about our physical environment and this natural world, about the earth, we also have a way of learning about heaven, the spirit within. We have a way of learning about our creator. And so that's something that we focus on each and every day, and it's something that I hope is, is powerful to you as well. As you learn about your life, as you live everything, you're always connected to the spiritual realm. You're always connected to your creator. And as we look and as we study, there's ample opportunity, more than ample opportunity to go out and see what that is, see who our creator is, see what kind of a world he's created for us, and then how we can take part in that and live in that world and be part of that creation, and how we can help build that kingdom of God outside of the world around us. So those are just some thoughts that I wanted to you know, kick off with to help us see that, because that's what our students really get to hear, and that's what they get to try to focus on. Excel, learn about the earth but also see what you can do about, about bringing spiritual knowledge into that. See how you can connect that to higher principles and higher values, and see how you can be the one who will live those values in your life. So tonight, let's celebrate that. We'll celebrate those who especially excelled at it. You'll see in your programs, we did some other awards today after chapel about community service awards and leadership awards and some, some commendations for some students. But tonight, you get your academic department award winners. To start that off, I'm going to invite Principal Kira Shattuck to the stage to start off with the Academ Academic Excellence Award for our girls' school. First of all, for those of you who are not aware, an Academic Excellence Award is awarded to a student who receives four or more departmental awards. So will Christina Youngy please come to the stage.
Come and stand right over here, baby. Everyone look at you, not at me, okay? All right, so I'm going to read each of the awards and then we'll, we'll fill her up. <laughs> so the first award is in Accelerated Geometry from Ms. Becca Kunkel. When it comes to accelerated geometry, Christina is like a pyramid. She started with a solid base of algebra skills and then built her knowledge of geometry brick by brick, one theorem at a time. By doing all of those optional homework assignments, Christina was well set up to complete her pyramid with a capstone of excellence. Perfect scores on several of the chapter tests. But more important than that was the treasure within her cheerful attitude towards everyone in the class. In Latin one, from Ms. Michaela Boyesen, Christina was a standout student in Latin one, curious, hardworking, and patient. She came to class focused, cheerful, and ready to learn. She worked tirelessly to master the material and was kind enough to share the occasional Quizlet with her classmates. Congratulations, Christina. Well, I think that's wonderful too. Let's just hold our applause to the end and that will hold true for all of these things. <laughs> I mean, I like clapping, too. In English One, from Ms. Bonnie Hodgel. For her industrious attention to detail, her commitment to the exploration and understanding of literature, and for her consistent reaching beyond her grasp, not to mention constructing a pretty cool Odyssey project out of popsicle sticks. For all of this, Christina earns the English Award. Congratulations. And finally, in Ancient History from Ms. Emily Klippenstein. Christina is a gem. She bounces into the classroom with a huge smile on her face every day. Her cheerfulness never fades, regardless of how many notes we're taking or what video we're watching. Instead, she appears genuinely excited about the material we're covering. Her academic work is impeccable. She over prepares for every test, which is evident in her near perfect grades and her declarations that the tests were never as hard as she thought they would be. <laughs> her effort in history has earned her a selfie with me, meaning Ms. Clip. <laughs> However, having Ms. Clip sing is still a hard no. <laughs> All right, now you can clap. Will Deidre Bongers please come to the stage?
All right, the first award is from Fine Arts. With significant contributions to the dance team, choir, and the musical, Deidre is an extremely hard worker, an incredible role model, a positive force, and a beautiful dancer. Deidre's work ethic and ability to carry over into her visual art classes where she has produced poignant artworks while at ANC. She is always kind to her peers and is always willing to help out wherever needed. We recognize her for her role as fall term dance team captain and as a 12 year, a 12 term, excuse me, whoo, 12 year. You probably actually are that, Deidre. A 12 term dancer in honors calculus from Mr. Dylan Glenn. Deidre earned this award for her impressive, logical, problem solving ability and dedicated hard work in calculus. In addition to this, she brings a thoughtful and caring approach to everything she does, which has been a constant benefit to the entire class. It has been a privilege to have her as part of our school community. In Religion 4, from Reverend Barry Halterman and Ms. Hillary Brintison. Deidre's earnest search for, the, for truth and meaning continued into her senior religion this year. Her inquisitive mind and love of learning causes her to dig deep, and we all benefit from her questions and insights. Her writing is consistently excellent, and her comments in class enrich the experience for us all. And in human anatomy and physics, from Ms. Martha Odner and Mr. Dave Keith. To Deidre, for her unfailing appreciation of all things science. In both human anatomy and physics, she would absorb the information and then dig deeper with her excellent questions and comments. Studying the human body with Deidre created an awesome convergence of science, humanities, politics, and especially etymology. Deidre has been a force in every science course she took, adding depth and perspective to each subject. We look forward to seeing where Deidre's brilliance takes her. Congratulations on the Senior Girls Science Award, Deidre. And now I welcome to the platform my esteemed colleague and partner in crime, Mr. Jeremy Irwin. Yeah, I, I pre-packaged mine. <laughs> also, true story. Um, 
Have you ever had that really scary thing like, how bad would it be to get a really bad foot cramp right before you go on stage? It's worse than you think. It's, it's really, really uncomfortable. Um, so if I shift around a lot, it's because my left foot is dying. All right, Gareth Mergen, could you please come up to the stage? Excel uh, also, I'm going to start clapping when it's time for you to clap because some of these have congratulations at the end and it's going to get confusing. So when I start clapping, you can start clapping. <laughs> Accelerated Algebra for Miss Fuller. Gareth's work has been exemplary throughout the year, but this award is presented for far more than exceptional work. Gareth's humor, engagement, participation, and insight have enlivened class daily. His sheer enthusiasm for learning is contagious. His willingness to collaborate with his peers remarkable, and his attitude and work ethic commendable. This award is presented with gratitude for the energy, participation, and positive tone, and the exceptional work that Gareth contributed in accelerated algebra throughout the year. English from Mr. Youngy. Positive, engaged, proactive, diligent, intelligent. Gareth is all of these things and so much more. He has been a leader in our classroom discussions, elevating the level of discourse for the whole group. He has consistently submitted thoughtful, well-written work that I have actually enjoyed reading. <laughs> in sum, Gareth has been an absolute joy to have in the classroom this year, and he is very deserving of this department award. Thank you, Gareth, and congratulations. Biology from Mr. Keith. Like the octopus, Gareth has many tricks up his tentacle. Although he could easily camouflage into the background of a biology class, he chose instead to interact playfully with the tricky concepts presented to him, often asking insightful questions about the natural world. His cephalopod brain usually quickly subdued the invertebrate prey of his biology assignments, and then moved on to help his aquatic friends do the same. <laughs> and finally, European history from Mr. Odner. Although he is not the only one in this class receiving high marks, Gareth has been able to supplement his stellar academic mastery with an equally impressive level of participation and in-class energy. When a tricky critical thinking question was put to the class, I could always count on Gareth to pause, genuinely consider, and then fill the silence with a well-reasoned contribution. Congratulations, Gareth. And now, if I could please have join me up here on the stage, Mr. Evan Buss. Stand there, there, wherever you want. Cool. Another true story. Uh, I usually sit over there and I giggle when the non foreign language people have to say foreign words in these things. So thank you, Prof, for making me have to do this. <laughs> Spanish 2 from Mrs. Welkley. Evan has been an estudiante excelente all year long. <laughs> In a classroom full of sometimes rowdy students, Evan managed to stay calm and focused. He is dedicated and knows his Spanish and often asks advanced questions during class. He even played a favorite class song, a contra corriente, during the Little Mermaid cast party. <laughs> Enora buena, Evan. Was that okay? okay. <laughs> Honors English from Mr. Kistner. Evan receives the seldom bequeathed Tittle Award. 
For those not in the know, a tittle is the superscript dot that appears above the lowercase i or j. Although rarely used, except in the phrase jot and tittle, to indicate attention to every small detail, a reference to Matthew 5.18. Till heaven and earth pass away, one jot or one tittle will by no means pass from the law till all is fulfilled. The tittle is an integral part of these written glyphs. Diligence is one thing, but it's Evan's eye for the minutia that sets him above, much like the tittle itself. <laughs> Honors chemistry from Mr. Glenn. While his near flawless performance on every assignment in honors chemistry would have been enough for him to earn this award, Evan did so much more. I could always count on him to be engaged in the classroom, answering my questions and asking good questions of his own. He also went above and beyond in helping his classmates work through the material. Evan will be missed in my classroom, but I'm excited to see the great things that he has in his future. And finally, honors U.S. history from Mr. Klippenstein. I suspect that very few of Evan's classmates are surprised to see him up here receiving this history department award. His work and reputation precede him. He combines a high level of scholarship with hard work and determination. In class, I always hope for students to demonstrate some intellectual curiosity. Evan has that in abundance too. There is a decent chance that he might actually crack open this book that the department is giving him here. <laughs> Crazy, I know. His final paper, <laughs> his final paper was typical Evan. That is a well-executed treatment of a sophisticated and intriguing topic. I will not soon forget it. Thank you for your efforts this year. Congratulations, Evan. And now, could I please have join me up here on the stage, Mr. Levi McFall. <laughs> All right, honors calculus from Mr. Glenn. Levi's hard work focus and curiosity have earned him this award in honors calculus. He isn't simply satisfied with finding the right answer. He truly wants to understand it. And as a result, he managed to master everything I could put in front of him. He is among the most dedicated and capable students I've had the pleasure of teaching. Latin four, Mr. Odner. Levi has surely set a record for getting the most for his educational buck. <laughs> He never loses an opportunity to clarify, correct, and perfect. And the result is more thorough education for himself and his classmates. Bene factum Levi. Human anatomy and also physics from Mr. Hyam and Mr. Keith. While Levi was physically sitting in the classroom with his peers, he was mentally rocketing through space to the edges of the universe in physics, or following the circuitous path of oxygen through the alveoli of the lungs in human anatomy. He has often returned to the class with an insightful realization or a thought-provoking question and was always wiser for the journey. We thank him for taking us along for the ride and applaud his astronomical and anatomical achievements. Congratulations on the Senior Boys Science Award. And finally, in the fine arts, from a bunch of teachers. <laughs> Levi has positively contributed to the instrumental ensemble for numerous semesters and significantly raised the quality of the group with his skills and musicality. Levi routinely could be seen on stage singing in the choir, dancing as a member of the dance team, and playing in the instrumental ensemble, often in the same concert. He, he even composed two very beautiful songs for the group to play at Arts Night. 
Levi showed the same dedication and tireless work ethic in all of his visual art electives and also during a year in visual arts portfolio. Thank you and congratulations, Levi. All right, buddy. And now to kick off the actual departments, if we could have the physical education chairperson, Mr. Ivan Boyson. All right, folks, you've done so well learning that routine. We're going to change it up a little bit. I'm going to call eight students down. So we're hoping that you can hold your applause until they're all down here. That way they can actually hear their names. So would the following students please join me on the platform. Maisie Braun, Maya Ernest Hunsiger, Hira Tomlinson, Angelise Wall, Adam Holt, Taj Odiambo, Perry Rhodes, and Xavier Sinisfet. Okay, so we'll start with the girls. Maisie, if you could s step forward. Thank you. So for the girls' school, these awards were written by uh, Ms. Brindison, Ms. Walker, and Ms. Gladish. So Maisie. Maisie has taken yoga two years in a row and Zumba every term and has been offered since her freshman year. She is always a pleasure to teach. She contributes to every class and never seems to have an off day. Her positive attitude is infectious as she demonstrates a sincere interest in the course material. In short, she is an outstanding example of commitment to these two life sports. This is Maya. Maya has taken Zumba every term and has been offered eight times since the fall of her freshman year. Last August, she earned her instructor license and subsequently taught 15 unique choreographies at least three times each in both fall and spring PE this year. Working with Maya has been a complete joy and it has been a real privilege to have a co-teacher in class this year. I wish her every success in pursuing her Zumba career in college and beyond. This is for Hira. Hira doesn't like fuss. In mass games, with no fuss whatsoever, she gets the job done in team sport after team sport. She is competitive, determined, and so cheerfully about it all. In cardio and running class, she just cranks the miles out. No drama, no fanfare. But you are deserving of fanfare, Hira. You are a fine athlete and an even finer person, and I could make an enormous fuss about how fun you are to teach. But in the interests of your comfort, we'll stop here. <laughs> Angelis. Another awesome year brings Angelis her second PE award. Her helpfulness is unparalleled. She looks for ways to serve and steps up time and time again to support her classmates and teacher. 
Basically, she continued as an assistant coach in racket sports this year, a lively participant in team sports, and she has been a stalwart member of Zumba for all four years with us. Congratulations and thoroughly deserved Angelis. So now for the guys, these citations were written by myself and Mr. Osborne. So we'll start with Adam. Adam was amazing in team handball. His skills were excellent and his gameplay was outstanding. What separated him from the rest was his determined determination to excel and include others in the process. He was never phased by those trying to hold him back. He just kept playing hard with an incredible attitude. In CrossFit, Adam consistently worked hard and cared about doing things the right way. The same hard work and attention to detail led to success on the tennis courts as well, making it to the finals of our singles tournament. We are excited to have Adam back next year. Okay, Taj. This is from Mr. Osborne. No, I didn't get to teach you. Darn. Taj is an excellent example of what it means to be a successful, it means to be successful in PE. Uh, with him being the only senior in his spring PE class, this was particularly valuable as he set the standard for the underclassmen. His positive attitude and consistent effort made him an ideal teammate in badminton. His wisdom and maturity shined brightly in spike ball as he was able to let the chirps of Carson B. roll off his back on his way to victory. The PE department appreciates everything Taj has contributed, and we wish him success as he moves on to East Stroudsburg. Uh, Perry. Perry excelled in one wall handball. He was committed to making gains in the weight room. He performed consistently in badminton and crushed it in spike ball. All of that is great, but, what's not, but that's not why he's getting this award. His attitude, his kindness, and his leadership are what sets Perry apart. I could always count on him to set a good example for the younger guys, and he was the ideal teammate in all of our games. We are going to miss Perry's leadership next year, and we wish him luck at Penn State. Okay, Xavier. Bravo, Xavier. Your outstanding effort in all the courses over four years was impressive and inspiring. What made your effort special was the amazing attitude that went with, went with it. You were like an assistant in the ultimate unit and a great help to others on the field. You inspired others to push themselves harder and you were instrumental in pulling players together in team handball, both novice and ego-driven players alike. <laughs> Thank you, Xavier, for all you gave to ANC Phys Ed program. You will be missed. I'd like to welcome to the stage the head of the World Languages Department, Ms. Sarah Cooper Walkley. All right, could the following people please come up? Padraig Frazier, Tegan Henderson, Tyler Ludwig, Tara Pitcairn, and Taj, you're coming back up here. too far. <laughs> There's only five. Sorry. 
Okay, Patrick. This is from um, Miss Boyason. When it comes to Latin, Padrick is a natural. Somehow, it always seems to be a he seems to be a step ahead of the lesson. His curiosity and understanding allow him to ask questions that can only be answered with, you will learn about that in Latin too. Congratulations, Padrick. <laughs> Tegan. This is the scariest one. This is from Mr. Cole. <laughs> Tegan Tayshawn Henderson is receiving this award not just for being an excellent Latin student, but because of the subtle leadership and inclusivity she brings to the classroom. It is easy for students with a natural facility in a subject to outshine their peers, but Tajin rather elevates and advocates for her classmates for whom Latin grammar and vocabulary do not come as naturally. In spite of this natural ability, Faye Gone does not simply coast in this class, but demonstrates an exemplary work ethic and an eagerness to grow and improve. In a relatively large Latin II class full of talented students, Tegan's underst understated brilliance was a daily gift. <laughs> Tyler. Um, this is from Professor Walker. Tyler has been una estudiante brillante all year long. Yes, she knows her grammar and vocabulary and consistently earned high marks on all assessments, but the hallmark of a true student is intellectual curiosity. Tyler is eager to learn, always attentive, first to raise her hand, and exudes a passion for Spanish that undoubtedly will lead to much future study, dare I say, even a future career en español. Felicidades. Tara, this is from me. Tara made the jump from Spanish 1 to Spanish 3 this year and quickly made her way to the top of the class. Her essays are well structured and complex and her vocabulary is advanced. She knows her grammar and, and can comprehend Spanish above the level 3 range. All those hours of watching Spanish telenovelas has really paid off. Felicidades. <laughs> Taj. This is from Madame Connolly. Last fall, a student wanted to bypass French 1 because they had studied it over the summer. I agreed skeptically. Well, enter Taj and all my skepticism vanished. Taj has been an engaged and diligent student of French, always seeking to learn more, to find resources outside of class. It's no wonder that Taj is so invested in French as it plays a role in the linguistic heritage of his family, many of whom speak Haitian Creole. And, yeah. And on a sillier note, having Taj be totally into the absolute cheesiest French learner sitcom made for a really fun and funny experience for the whole class. Merci et félicitations, Taj. And now I'd like to introduce Mr. Eric Odner, who will be giving out the Math Department Awards. Would the following please come up on stage? Mr. Doug Odner, Mr. Cole Brown, Mr. Lucas Flynn, and Ms. Meg Matsukawa. Now, I'm no math teacher, but I do on occasion substitute, and uh, so I just want to ask you mathletes that when I substitute, am I any, any help at all to you? 
No, I am no help at all. <laughs> I take attendance and then these people teach the class. <laughs> Doug? Who's your math teacher? Uh, Mrs. Kunkel. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, this is from Mrs. Kunkel, and she says when it comes to accelerated geometry, Dog is like a cube. He is perfectly three dimensional, exhibiting three qualities in equal measure diligent work ethic, calm self reliance, and outstanding academic performance. His repeating pattern of mastery helped Dog to achieve perfect scores on several of the chapter tests, and no matter which way you rolled the dice, he could always be counted on to turn in his optional homework help a classmate, or volunteer an answer in class. Cole Brown, and your math teacher is? Miss B. I'm, I'm your advisor, Cole. You don't need to be afraid of me. <laughs> And Ms. B is Mrs. Boyason, and here's what she says about you. While he naturally possesses a talent for all things math, Cole's attention to detail, standard of excellence, and commitment to questioning everything earn him this award. Also, his dedication to using his calculator as little as possible was impressive. Congratulations, Cole. Lucas Flynn, and your teacher was? Miss Odner. Miss Odner. There's a lot of Odners around here. Gonna, <laughs> do you mean like Mrs. Like Martha Odner? Okay, just, just a wild guess there. Okay, so this is what Martha Odner says about you. For his enthusiasm and ability to make connections in honors precalculus, Lucas added depth and perspective to the class with his excellent questions and comments in class. He improved the learning experience for all. And also, Lucas is just really good at math. <laughs> Meg Matsukawa. This is Martha Odner. <laughs> Some people are smart. That's right. Okay. <laughs> this is what Martha Odner says about you. For her quiet determination and natural ability in honors precalculus. During class, Meg was fairly quiet, but the minute students started working on problems, she would inevitably be found in the midst of a small group of students working together. Meg is always willing to use her vast knowledge and understanding to help others. Excellent work, Meg. It's my pleasure to introduce the dynamic arts duo of Mr. Keith Gruber and Mr. Christopher Welkley. The visual art department does things a little different. Visual art and performing arts were a dynamic duo, as Eric indicated. We recognize seniors who have put forth extenu ex extra effort over their time here at ANC and have contributed immense talent to both the visual and the performing arts program. So I'd like to call the following seniors to the stage, please. Hira Tomlinson, <laughs> Angelise Wall, Dylan Blumenthal, Maya Ernst, Hunsiger, and Kevin Lee.
Dylan Blumenthal, come on down. A graceful and technically accurate dancer, Dylan has made a huge contribution to ANC's dance team over her high school career. We are grateful for her dedication to the team and thank her for serving as spring dance captain. When not in the spotlight dancing, Dylan's visual art has shown brilliantly. A two-year visual arts portfolio student, Dylan was a leader in class and excelled in all her other art electives. Thank you, Dylan. Kira Tomlinson. Kira has been a dedicated and capable visual artist while at ANC. During her junior year, Hira was introduced to clay and pottery, and she was hooked. Producing beautiful, meticulously well-crafted vessels, Hira found her artistic voice in clay. Fueled by intrinsic motivation, Hira has been ever receptive to instruction and has gone on to produce an exceptional body of work in sculpture and visual arts portfolio. Thank you, Hira. Angelis. Very few students invest themselves as much as Angelis. When she sets her mind to doing something, you can be sure that Angelis will go above and beyond expectations. And this was certainly the case in all of her visual art classes while at ANC. Whatever the assignment or medium, Angelis could be counted on to come up with creative solutions and work tirelessly to produce first-rate artwork. During her two years in the visual arts portfolio and in all of her art electives, Angelise's positive presence, relentless kindness, and unwavering desire to learn have made her an absolute joy to teach. <laughs> now I hand the microphone over to Chris Welkley. Maya. Maya has graced our stage for many terms of dance throughout her high school career. She has an amazing knack for picking up choreography quickly and executing it with incredible skill. Maya is such a joy to watch on the stage and such a pleasure to teach in the studio. We thank her for her contribution as winter term dance team captain. Congratulations. Kevin. Kevin has shown an incredible amount of growth in his technique and performance skills in both performing arts portfolio and dance team over these past two years. He has become such a strong dancer and a great role model for the other dancers. His energy and enthusiasm are infectious and he will truly be missed next year. Congratulations. So the Emily K. Osmond Award. Um, with a normal class, um, one person would come up and they would be recognized for the myriad contributions that they had made in all of our um, performing arts programs. And um, any of you that have seen any of our recent productions know that, uh, a junior, sorry, it's always a junior, um, that this class is not a normal class. Um, so the Emily K. Osplund committee was petitioned, and I want to thank um, Kira Shadig and Sarah Cooper Welkley, and especially Jim Adams, for their work with the committee to get them to do this. Um, and more than one award winner was decided upon by the committee. Um, so I'd like you, please, to hold your applause until all of the names 
have been announced. I'd like you guys to come up here and then I will read the citation of exactly what the Emily K. Osplin Award um, entails. So could the following people please come up to the stage? Anya Durand, Paige Swarzynski, and Maggie Stein. I think Anya is under the weather and is not here tonight, so unfortunately, yes. So the Emily K. Osplund Grant is established by the Academy of the New Church High School, class of 1950, in memory of Emily K. Osplund, who for many years used her considerable musical and theatrical talents to inspire, coach, and lead students of the Academy's secondary schools in various musical productions. This annual monetary grant is awarded to a junior <laughs> who shows particular interest and ability in the performing arts. It is through this annual gift and the assistance that it provides that Emily Osborne's influence will be felt for many generations to come. Congratulations, all three of you. It is now my honor to call to the stage the head of the English department, Ms. Bonnie Hodgel. Yeah. Uh, will the following students please come to the stage? Coleman Boyson, Aurelia Sullivan, Meg Matsukawa, Emma Brintison and Taj Oriamo. So that people can see you. Uh, Coleman is not here, so I'm going to read his uh, award. This is my first time. <laughs> for Coleman, this is from Mr. Kistner. Coleman receives this award for being a yeoman in the fields of English. In slang, yeoman has come to mean hard and valuable work in support of a cause or to help a team. That's Coleman. In both his free time and his scheduled labors, Coleman's efforts diligently broke through tough strata, unearthed fertile soil, and each season yielded a bountiful crop for his classmates and his teacher. Congratulations, Coleman. Little Sully, yes. Mm. For Aurelia, this is from Mrs. Cooper. When the class was challenged with diving into the depths of literary analysis, this award recipient routinely cast out lifelines. Quietly sharing insights laced with both compassion and maturity, she buoyed the class discussions. Coupled with her writing prowess, this skillful navigation of literature makes her a singular presence in the English classroom. Congratulations, Aurelia Sullivan. Yes. Uh, this is from me. <laughs> Tests in junior honors English seem to generate a small degree of discomfort. <laughs> <laughs> if not outright alarm, for the assiduous souls who decide to enlist. 
except for Meg Matsukawa, apparently. Her ability to craft fabulous, profound responses in record speed defies belief. Congratulations, little Matsu, on this increasingly familiar distinction from the English department. <laughs> Emma, this is from Miss Mary. Emma understood the assignment. Although her quietly rallying speech on <laughs> Although her quietly rallying speech on class vibes set this teacher's heart on fire, her elegant and meticulous writing kept it burning. Emma embraced each class and set a tone of passionate engagement. She understands nuanced discussions and consistently brought in other material she had researched to encourage us all to dig deeper. I will miss her sense of humor and ability to keep it real. <laughs> this is from Mr. Reuter. On the first day of class, we read some sample college application essays. One of the essays is really, really good. After reading it, I asked the class who felt good about their chances if their soon-to-be-written college application essay had to fight the sample one in a cage match. Taj didn't raise his hand, but he should have. Taj is a writer and a reader and a thinker, and a speaker. And if I had to choose somebody as my successor, I would choose Taj. And, and then I would re-enroll as a student so I could take his class. <laughs> I would now like to turn it over to my colleague, Mr. Dave Keith, head of the science department. Would the following students please join me on the stage? Caitlin Nash, Dag Odner, Zara Sinisvet, and Kat Stein. Caitlin, please step forward. This is from Mrs. Molly Cronland. To Caitlin Nash for her calm, unflappable demeanor and her academic excellence in introduction to physical science. She is being acknowledged for her consistently high performance all year long. Her attention to detail, her persistence, and most importantly, the admirable level of maturity she demonstrated when faced with challenges and or setbacks in this class. Outstanding job, and congratulations, Caitlin. Next up, Dag. This is from Mr. Edwin Glenn. Dag excelled in Intro to Physical Science this year. While most of the material seemed to come naturally to him, he wasn't afraid to ask questions and dig into something until it made sense. It was a pleasure teaching him, and I look forward to seeing where he goes from here. Don't use that handle up And Zara. This is from Miss Megan Smith. Never in my teaching career have I run dry of expo markers due solely to the sheer number of times I wrote Zara's intellectually probing, unanswerable questions on the board so that I would remember to research them after class. <laughs> in addition to her mind expanding logical reasoning and queries, we enjoyed Zara's piercingly clever sarcasm and wit. 
Thank you for helping to make biology class this year fun and interesting. You kept us thinking and laughing all year. I am excited to see where your natural affinity for all things STEM takes you on your educational path ahead. And Kat. This is from Mr. Edwin Glenn. When it comes to fostering a positive environment in the classroom, Kat is not an insignificant figure. Not only did she excel academically in both honors chem and environmental science, but she was consistently engaged, kind, and keeping things fun. I thoroughly enjoyed teaching Kat, and I look forward to seeing where her inquisitive mind takes her. And next, we all have the privilege of hearing from Mr. Ty Klippenstein in the History Department. Okay. Could the following people come forward? Dag Odner, coming back. Aurelia Sullivan, Sarah Hughes, Lucas Flynn, and Celeste Friend. This is from Mr. Dylan Glenn. Dag is receiving this award for his impressive, engaged, and thoughtful work throughout the year in ancient history. He has a talent for getting curious about almost any topic. He finds great questions and then brings a remarkably clever and creative mind to bear trying to work them out. Any teacher is lucky to get to teach such a student like Dag. This is from Miss Walker. In her own quiet, unobtrusive way, Aurelia has been an intellectual powerhouse in medieval European history this year. If she hesitated to respond in class discussion, it was never for lack of knowing the answer, but rather out of a sense of kindness to her peers. So only when it was absolutely clear that no one else would venture a response, <laughs> off in the corner, Near the window, a hand would quietly raise, and there it was. Aurelia, with the answer I was looking for once again. You may be quiet, Aurelia, but you have been noticed. Thank you. This is from Miss Knight. Sarah excels academically, but also brings a calm, kind curiosity to the classroom that improves the learning experience for everyone involved. Despite the early hour of A block, Sarah was always ready with a smile and seemed genuinely excited to learn, thinking about assignments deeply and connecting the content related to life events. I sincerely appreciated all her hard work. This one's from me. It was pretty clear early on in civics that Lucas was interested in current events and had some background knowledge on many of the issues that we would discuss in class. It was also apparent early on that he, he was a high achiever with some serious academic chops. His work, most of the time, set the standard for the class. In short, he was a great addition to the civics and economics class. There were times that his questions were the real driving force of class discussion. It made my job easier and more rewarding and the class better for his fellow students. I'm greatly appreciative and hope he maintains that inquisitiveness as he moves on in his academic career. This is also for me. 
Celeste wasn't certain she wanted to be in civics in the beginning of the year, but I'm very grateful that she joined. While she was often reserved in class, her work showed a real desire to tackle the task set before her in an earnest way. Homework wasn't just about checking a completion box. It was an opportunity to demonstrate her thoughtfulness. Her responses as written work were consistently top notch. Thank you for taking the class and giving so much of your attention and thought to it. And now we can invite back Reverend Halterman to close this out. It is my pleasure to invite to the stage our religion department winners, Omega Wade, Kent Fuller, Gretchen Verona, Corbin Larson, Sarah Hughes, Lucas Sinisvet, and Christopher Fox. Some new faces up here. Isn't that nice to see some new faces? I mean, I love the old ones, but it's good to share the wealth, you know, share the love. That's the religion department for you. We just share love. All right, I know, but I mean, it's been a long night. I can't throw that out there now. First up, Omega Wade. This award is to Omega for excellent in all facets of the course in freshman religion. Omega showed total mastery of the content, depth of understanding, clarity of expression and creativity in her written work and presentations, and contributed her ideas positively and respectfully in the classroom. Thank you, Omega. Kent Fuller, this is from Mr. Barber. This is to Kent for his boundless, for the boundless curiosity he expressed in writing and in class discussion, for his synthesis of material historic, biblical, and doctrinal, for his excellence of citizenship in the classroom, and for his intellectual engagement in the intricacies and wonder of the fourth gospel. Congratulations, Kent. Sophomore religion, sophomore girls religion. This is from Mr. Barber, Gretchen Verona. This goes to Gretchen for her depth of thought, her demonstrated concern for the intersection of religion and life, for going above and beyond in all aspects of the course, and for being a sincere, positive contributor to the learning community. Congratulations, Gretchen. Our sophomore boy is Corbin Larson. So this is from uh, Mr. Matthew Genslinger, and he writes, this goes to Corbin for his consistent academic work and positive influence in the classroom. In addition to achieving high marks, Corbin showed a curiosity and a willingness to explore new church teachings that benefited the whole class. His questions and answers were thoughtful, and his overall attitude made him a wonderful addition to this year's class. Congratulations, Corbin. Now, Sarah Hughes for Junior Girls. This is also from Mr. Barber. He writes, this award is to Sarah for her consistently thorough submissions in both creative and critical thinking elements of the course, for her demonstrated grasp of the framework of New Church Theology, and for her balance of accurate reporting and expansive inquiry. 
Congratulations, Sarah. Lucas Sinisvet. This goes to Lucas for demonstrating a depth of understanding of the doctrines and a clarity of expression of the ideas presented well beyond the average junior boy, and for always being a kind, respectful, and respected leader in the classroom. Thank you, Lucas. Our senior girl was Deidre and Deidre, nice job. Thank you for four wonderful years in uh, your religion classes. So uh, I just, I miss shaking your hand. So there you go. <laughs> Lastly, our senior boy is Christopher Fox. <laughs> Mr. Barber writes, this award is for Christopher for his thoroughness and clarity in all writing and presentation for his keen perception of the interplay of spiritual principles in practical life, and for his integrity as an, acad uh, as an academy scholar. Thank you, Christopher. So just in closing here, um, I want to thank you all again for sharing yourselves with the Academy of the New Church. To be a good school really requires everybody giving what they have and giving to the community that we are. Community is a shared thing, and, and we all need to build it together. So I think despite all the challenges we've had, we had, a, we had a really good year. We have great students, and we have a really good program here, and we have a nice life. So I always tell people that I'm living the dream. I got the job I want. I get to teach kids. I get to talk about God. I get to have a great experience. Um, I hope you all feel that way. I hope the Lord continues to shine on this place and shine on all of you. And in closing, we're going to join in singing the Alma Mater. Yeah.